Our next objective is to be able to write equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. I have on the screen two sets of graphs. On one coordinate system, I have the equation y is equal to 3 fourths x plus 3, and also y is equal to 3 fourths x minus 2. Note that those two graphs both have a slope of 3 fourths. One has a y-intercept of 3, and the other has a y-intercept of negative 2. Just remind yourself of a few things. If I wanted to graph this, which I see the graph, but um, the y-intercept of 3 fourths x plus 3 is 3, right? And we see that it goes through the point 0, 3. This slope would mean that we have to go up 3 units and write 4 units to get to another point on the graph. y is equal to 3 fourths x minus 2 has a y-intercept of negative 2, which we see that it goes through 0, negative 2. And its slope means to go up 3 units and write 4 units to get to another point on the graph. So notice that these two lines have the same steepness and that they will never intersect. That is, they will be parallel to each other. On the other coordinate system, I have the graph y is equal to 3 halves x plus 1 and y is equal to negative 2 thirds x minus 3. So in y is equal to 3 halves x plus 1, the y-intercept is 0, 1. The slope is 3 halves, which means we can go up 3 units and write 2 to get to another point on the graph. y is equal to negative 2 thirds x minus 3 has a y-intercept at negative 3, and its slope is negative 2 thirds, which means that we go down 2 and write 3 to get to another point on the graph. These two lines do intersect because they have different steepnesses. And in fact, they intersect at a right angle. And that is always the case when the slopes relate in a certain way. Notice that one is 3 halves, one is negative 2 thirds. The way their slopes relate is we say that they are negative reciprocals of each other. And I'll define this on the next screen, but I just wanted to give you a, an idea of what we're going to be talking about. So for parallel lines, notice that the slopes were the same. So parallel lines are lines that never intersect. If the slope of one line is m sub 1, and the slope of a parallel line is m sub 2, then m sub 1 is equal to m sub 2. Now vertical lines, remember, we cannot define their slope, so we have to make a separate statement that vertical lines are also parallel to each other. So the key thing there, though, is that the slope of parallel lines are the same. Perpendicular lines are lines that intersect at right angles. If m sub 1 and m sub 2 are slopes of non-vertical perpendicular lines, then m sub 1 is equal to the opposite of 1 divided by m sub 2. And that looks quite confusing, but that is just saying that the slopes of non-vertical perpendicular lines are the negative reciprocals of one another. Another way we can say this is that m sub 1 times m sub 2 is equal to negative 1. And vertical and horizontal lines are perpendicular to each other. We're going to go through just a little exercise to make sure you understand how to find the slope of a parallel and perpendicular line. I have a chart and there are four entries and for each of those the main entry is a slope of a given line and then I want to find the slope of a line parallel to it and the slope of a line perpendicular to it. The first example is a slope of negative three-fourths. So if a given line has a slope of negative three-fourths the slope of a parallel line will also be negative three-fourths because parallel lines have the same slope. The slope of a perpendicular line will be the negative reciprocal 
So the slope of that line will be, I have to take the opposite sign, and then I have to flip the fraction, so it will, will be positive 4 thirds. Another example is the slope is 5. So the slope of a parallel line will also be 5. The slope of a perpendicular line will have to be the opposite sign, so we make it negative, and then we have to flip the fraction or take the reciprocal of 5. Remember 5 is just 5 divided by 1. The reciprocal is 1 fifth. So the slope of a perpendicular line is negative 1 fifth. Part C, if our given slope is 7 halves, then the slope of a parallel line will also be 7 halves. What is the slope of the line perpendicular? Take the opposite sign, so negative, and then flip the fraction to be negative 2 sevenths. What if we have a slope of a given line is 0? So the slope of a parallel line would also be 0. The perpendicular line would be change the sign, which would be, well, 0 really is not positive or negative, but if we change the sign but then take the reciprocal, remember 0 is 0 over 1. If we take the reciprocal, we get 1 divided by 0, which is undefined. So the slope of a perpendicular line would be undefined. If you think about it, these are the case of a horizontal line, right, the slope is 0, and a perpendicular line to that would be a vertical line which has an undefined slope. In example 3, we have the equation 5x minus 2y equals 8 is given. We want to determine the slope of this line, the slope of a parallel line, and the slope of a perpendicular line. So these are going to be parts of the puzzle that we're going to solve later. So if we have a given equation, which is 5x minus 2y is equal to 8. And what we want to do is first find the slope of this given line. Recall that if we have the equation of a line given, we can write the equation in slope-intercept form to find the slope. So we need to write the equation in the form y equals mx plus b, and then we know m is a slope. And this just means solve the equation for y. Therefore, we get negative 2y is equal to, we subtract 5x from each side, and that's negative 5x plus 8, and then divide through by negative 2, y is equal to positive 5 halves x minus 4. So the slope of the given line is what? The coefficient of x, which is 5 halves. Now if we want to find the slope of a parallel line, well, lines that are parallel have the same slope. So if the given line has a slope of 5 halves, a line parallel to it is also going to be 5 halves. And then the slope of a perpendicular line So if this line has a slope of 5 halves, a line perpendicular to it has to have a slope that is the negative reciprocal. So it's going to be the opposite of 2 divided by 5, so negative 2 fifths. So now in example 4, we're going to apply the things that we've learned about parallel and perpendicular lines to write a linear function that satisfies some given conditions. And in this, we're going to also use what we learned in the first objective, that is the point-slope form. Recall the point-slope form is y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. So the key thing to know is that I need to know a slope and a point to be able to write the equation of a line. 
In example A, we have a line passes through the point negative 2, negative 7 and is parallel to the line defined by 5x plus y equals 4. So it might help you to like graphically get a picture of what's happening. If I plot the point negative 2, negative 7, which is down in the third quadrant somewhere, I'm trying to write the equation of a line that goes through this point, but we also know that it's parallel to 5x plus y equals 4. Now if I wanted to graph 5x plus y equals 4, I could find the intercepts and understand on solving these problems you're not going to have to do this. I just want you to be able to visualize what you're actually doing. So if I wanted to graph that, I'm going to just find the intercepts. If I let x equal 0, y is 4. If y is 0, I would get 5x equals 4, so that's going to be 4 fifths is x. So this line goes through 0, 4. And also 4 fifths 0, well 4 fifths is 0.8, so it's going to be somewhere between 0 and 1, closer to the 1, right, 0.8. And so now what I know is that this, I actually know what my graph is going to look like, because I know it goes through negative 2, 7, and it's going to be parallel to the line that I just drew, so it has to have the same steepness. And so to be able to write the equation of this line, the line that goes through the negative 2, negative 7, I need to figure out what is the slope of that line. I know the slope of that line because I'm given a line that's parallel to it. So this is like jeopardy, right? I'm given all these facts and I have to come up with the equation that satisfies it. And the first thing you have to do to write the equation of a line is to know the slope. So we have to first find the slope. Well, I can find the slope of the given line. That's exactly what we just did in example three. If I'm given the equation of a line, I need to solve it for y to get the slope. I can solve for y by subtracting 5x. So y is equal to negative 5x plus 4. So the slope of this line is the coefficient of x, which is negative 5. But I don't care about that. I need to know what's the slope of the line parallel to it. And so the line parallel to it, and I'm going to write this with m sub, and it looks like railroad tracks almost. m sub railroad tracks, right, that's the line parallel, is also negative 5, right, they have the same slope. So in step 2, I'm going to use the slope that we just found. So the slope of this parallel line is negative 5. And my given point, so x sub 1, y sub 1, is negative 2, negative 7. Then I'm going to plug in 2, the point slope form. So I get y minus y sub 1 is equal to m times x minus x sub 1. And I'm running out of room, so let me come up here. So I get y minus, well, the y value of the point is negative 7. I'll put that in parentheses. Is equal to my slope, negative 5, times x minus the x value, which is negative 2, which I also put in parentheses. Simplifying this, we get y plus 7 is equal to negative 5 times x plus 2. Now we can distribute on the right to get y plus 7 equals negative 5x minus 10. And then subtract 7. y is equal to negative 5x minus 17. So in function notation, f of x is equal to negative 5x minus 17. 17. So I see that the negative 5, right, they have the same slope. I can check by finding f of negative 2, and I get negative 5 times negative 2 minus 17, which is 10 minus 17, or negative 7. So the point that we were given satisfies this equation. Therefore, my function is correct. But just to recap, I had to find the slope using the given line. Then I knew that the two lines were parallel, which told me the slopes were the same. Then I used that slope with the given point in the point slope form. Part B is a line passes through 4, negative 7 and is perpendicular to the line defined by 5x 
minus 2y equals 3. Again, I could get a visualization of what I want to do. Like 4, negative 7 is in quadrant 4. If I graphed 5x minus 2y equals 3, those intercepts are going to be ugly. If I let x be 0, y is negative 3 halves. And if y is 0, x is going to be 3 fifths. So if I plot 0, negative 3 and a half, and then 3 fifths 0, I'm just doing a rough sketch here. So I have this line that's given, and I have a point for negative 7. So I'm trying to write the equation of a line that is perpendicular to this one through that point for negative 7. Again, what do I need to write the equation of a line? The first thing I need is the slope. So to find the slope, we have to use this given equation, 5x minus 2y is equal to 3. In fact, that's how these problems all differ. You might be given the slope directly, you might be given two points on the line and you have to use a slope formula, or you will be given how it relates to another line. So to find the slope of this 5x minus 2y equals 3, we have to solve it for y. So we subtract the 5x to get negative 2y equals negative 5x plus 3, and then divide everything through by negative 2. So we get y is equal to positive 5 halves x minus 3 halves. So the slope of the given line is 5 halves. But I'm using that to find the slope of this other line, right, that's perpendicular to it. The slope of the perpendicular line, which I'm going to write with a little symbol, it looks like a right angle is being formed, m sub perpendicular line is equal to the negative reciprocal of the 5 halves, which will be negative 2 fifths. So now I use the slope of negative 2 fifths together with my given point in the point slope form to write the equation of the line. So the slope, negative 2 fifths, x sub 1, y sub 1 is 4, negative 7. So plugging into y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1, we will get y minus negative 7, which I'll put in parentheses, is equal to negative 2 fifths times x minus 4. This gives us y plus 7 is equal to negative 2 fifths x plus Negative 2 fifths times negative 4, which is really negative 4 over 1, will be a positive 8 divided by 5. Now, if you don't like the fractions, I can multiply through by the LCD on each side, which is 5. And that gives me 5y plus 35 is equal to negative 2x plus 8. And then we can subtract 35. So we get 5y is equal to negative 2x, 8 minus 35 is negative 27, and then divide through by 5. So negative 2 fifths x minus 27 fifths. In function notation, this will be f of x equals negative 2 fifths x minus 27 fifths. Now we can check by plug in 4 to find f of 4, f of 4 is negative 2 fifths times 4 minus 27 fifths, which is really negative 8 fifths minus 27 fifths, which is negative 35 fifths, which is negative 7, so that checks. Now part C is to find the line that passes through 4, 3 that is parallel to y equals negative 2. Well, what is the slope? And there's a couple ways to do this problem, which I'll show you in just a minute. y equals negative 2 is equivalent to y is equal to 0x minus 2. 
So that means that the slope of this line is just zero. Because my line is parallel to that, the slope of a parallel line is also zero. So if I use the slope of zero and the point 43, which I'll call x sub 1, y sub 1, in the point slope form, y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1, I get y minus 3 is equal to 0 times x minus 4. But 0 times anything is just 0, which is y minus 3 equals 0, or y is equal to 3. And in function notation, we can write that as f of x equals 3. But remember um, some things that we've talked about. This y equals negative 2, that is the equation of a horizontal line. And so we know that a line parallel to it will also be a horizontal line. And a horizontal line is always in the form y equals some number. So I could have recognized my answer really without going through the point slope form, but either way will work. Now part D says a line that passes through 4, 3 that is perpendicular to y is equal to negative 2. If I think about this in terms of the slope, we just found that the slope of y equals 0, x minus 2 is 0. But then a line perpendicular to that, if I think about the negative reciprocal, that is going to be undefined. So if we need to write the equation of a line that has undefined slope, and goes through the point 4, 3. We know that that is only true with a vertical line that goes through the point 4, 3. And the equation of a vertical line is always x equals a number, and that's the x value of the point, which is x equals 4. So again, if you think about Special cases of horizontal and vertical lines, you can do these without much work.